Hi everybody, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com and today I just want to take you through buying a theme on themeforest.net. Now themeforest is a huge marketplace um, for all sorts of different things, um, not just WordPress themes. Um, there's static themes, there's PSD templates um, and all sorts of other bits and bobs um, that are all available at some really great prices but it can be a little bit overwhelming because there is so much stuff. So I'm just going to take you through a few points that I um, like to make sure that I check when I'm going to buy a new theme. So I've got Theme Forest open here and if we go to um, the WordPress section you can see it's all broken down into different areas. Um, and now just for fun let's pick a, uh, a corporate type theme. But obviously um, depending on what you want you'd go into the correct category. So you can see we've got 948 um, items and 32 pages so you know there's a lot to look at there. Uh, it's currently sorted by date, so you know all the newest themes are here, which is great. I mean, it's always good to get a new theme, but you know, be aware that um, you know bugs may not have all been ironed out on a brand new theme. Um, so let's just take a look, and um, for example, this this theme's caught my eye. Um, and there's a few things I say that you want to make sure that you check out when you're um, when you're looking at themes. Now, the first thing. Um, and hopefully I think this theme that I've picked is probably going to cover most of these bases is you probably want to check if the theme is um, responsive. Now this is the live demo of the theme here. Um, now responsive basically means that the screen um, changes or the, the website sorry changes shape and size depending on the size of the screen so you know on an iPhone or whatever it obviously needs to be a, a bit smaller. A great way of testing this is to actually grab the side of your window and just resize it and just see how the site um, reacts. So you see as I do it on this site um, everything's starting to get smaller and smaller and then as we get to kind of iPhone size um, the head has changed it's given us a, a drop down um, type system for navigation which obviously will work a lot better on an iPhone um, and you only have to scroll up and down there's no left and right scrolling um, which is perfect um, for smartphones. So this one ticks the first box which is um, is the theme responsive. The second thing you want to ch check is whether the site supports um, maybe any plugins for example WooCommerce is a great e-commerce plugin and even on a site that you maybe don't want to add a shop to it's always worth kind of keeping in mind that maybe the client or yourself in the future might want to and if that functionality is already there it's going to make life easier for you. So I can see this has got a shop. Um, so let's just have a look and just see what, what's going on. I think, let me just check back on the details. Yeah it is WooCommerce. So again this theme ticks the box in terms of supporting WooCommerce. You can see it looks really nice. Um, with the shop page and obviously that's optional. You don't have to use, um, use that but it's always good to check. The third thing I would check is the kind of options that you get with the theme. Now, it's not very clear on this particular listing what you get in the back, um, so it's difficult to say. But let's just go back and have a look at another theme. Um, let's sort by um, rating and just see what comes up. So this one is, is top rated. So let's have a look at this one. Okay, so you can see this one has got quite a few different, uh, these are the options you're going to get in terms of design, you can change fonts and backgrounds and menus and icons and buttons and all the colours and oh, it looks like it's got a really cool template builder as well. So you need to check these things because um, it's going to make your life a lot easier again You know, when you're editing and working on the theme if there's some options, otherwise you're going to have to start hacking around on the code and all sorts of different things to get it looking as you want it. Whereas the more options in the back end, as you can see from this screenshot here, oh, my mouse has just reconnected, there's loads of things that are going to allow you to customize it and make the theme your own. So uh, this one looks a great one. Let's just have a, have a look at the preview. Okay, so that was the third thing, checking the options. And the fourth thing is you want to check whether this, the theme is retina ready. Again, this is probably um, isn't essential but it's a nice thing to have. So this Jupiter theme is retina ready I seem to remember it saying. And um, basically all that means is that it's got support for the new iPad and the new Mac um, with the high resolution screen and it means it will look really really crisp and really nice. So there we go in a nutshell here's what I think you should do. I'm going to put it on the screen and 
Just make sure you keep those things in mind when you're looking at themes. Don't get carried away if you see a theme that looks really great and you're rushing and buy it. Make sure you check the details that it does have some basic things that are gonna make your life a lot easier when you're working on it. Hope you found that helpful and um, I'll speak to you again soon. Alex out.